everyone today's topic is computation of break even sales or break even point at desired profit if any profit information is given then how we will calculate break even point or break even sales uh, we have uh, earlier study about the break even point formula is break even point or break even sales formula in terms of units this formula is fc fixed cost upon sales minus variable cost but if profit is given uh, in the question so we will add to it in fixed cost but this is a condition profit should be in uh, in the amount of lump sum it should be in lump sum amount because fixed cost always comes in lump sum amount so profit should be comes in lump sum amount but if it uh, this profit is in uh, per unit given so we cannot apply this formula then in that condition we applied break even sales or point equal to fc upon s minus v and then plus v these items are in per unit given and these are item in lump sum amount so if profit is given in lump sum amount then we will apply this formula but if the profit is given in per unit given then we will apply this formula in terms of units but if we will calculate break even sales in terms of rupees then the formula is fixed cost plus profit upon s minus v multiply as then we can calculate it in terms of rupees but if these terms are given sales is given in lump sum amount then we can apply only this formula we cannot apply this formula but we can apply only in terms of rupees now we will uh, we can this question apply this question by the help of an example this is uh, uh, this is a question for the topic of computation of break even sales at desired profit when profit is given in this question is from the following particulars calculate the sales required to earn a profit desired profit is given rupees 120000 sales 6 lakh rupees is given variable cost 3 lakh 75000 and fixed cost 1 lakh 80000 rupees in this question sales and variable cost those items are given in lump sum amount not in per unit given item so we can apply it only in rupees term formula not in units because these two items are given in lump sum amount not per unit so we will apply the formula break even sales or break even point equal to fixed cost plus profit upon s minus v multiply s we can apply it only in terms of rupees because these two items are given in lump sum amount now we will put the values break even sales in rupees equal to fixed cost fixed cost given 1 lakh 80000 plus profit profit given 1 lakh 20000 then multiply s s given 6 lakh rupees then divided by s minus v it means 6 lakh minus v 3 lakh 75000 now we will solve this 3 lakh multiply 6 lakh 2 lakh 25000 now we will solve this question and the value should be rupees 6 lakh rupees so the answer is break even point or break even sales should be rupees 8 lakh rupees now we will do another question of this top now we are doing uh and another problem of computation of break even analysis at desired profit but in this question the profit is given as per percentage and per unit given the question is how many units means number of units we will calculate must be sold break even sales in units term to earn 
a net income of 10% of sales. Selling price rupees 20 per unit. Per unit is given. Variable cost per unit is given. And fixed cost 240,000. But profit is not given in lump sum amount. But it's given only in the form of per unit given. So first we will calculate P profit equal to 10% of sales. It means sales 20 into 10 upon 100. It means rupees 2 per unit. Now we will apply the formula. Break even sales in terms of units. Now price is given in per unit given. So we will apply fixed cost upon S minus V plus P. Sales minus variable cost plus profit. Fixed cost. Now we will apply. We will put the values. Fixed cost. Rupees 240,000. Divided by sales. Means selling price. 20 minus variable cost. 12 plus 2. 240,000. Divided by 20 minus 14. 240,000 divided by 6, 40,000 units. It means break even sales must be 40,000 units.